Whenever there's hot financial news, I like to come down here. Talk to my friends. Where am I? Where am I today? Ah, Wall Street. I got an interesting story I want to talk about. Because no one seems to ever talk about the uh, financials, Wall Street. Right? It's like in, a, in the, in the uh, Trump community, nobody even knows what, what's going on, right? Nobody follows it anymore. Liberals don't know. They, they're, all too, they're too worried about pink pussy hats and right? social issues. Fucking what Halloween costume is politically correct? Meanwhile, they're getting raped and robbed and blundered and, and blistered from the banks again. So I got three stories I want to read off. I'm going to do this quick because it's not, it's not, I don't want to bore people with the numbers, but I want people to know that the numbers exist, right? And if you were in the spot I'm in right now, back in 2011, about six years ago it was a whole different story whole different story whole different scenario huh? where am I Zuccotti Park this is the Wall Street Park right remember Occupy Occupy Wall Street what were they doing down here what were they talking about they were trying to tell us, young people were trying to tell us that the, the banking system was is broken. That crony capitalism doesn't work anymore. That corporations and banks are now monopolies playing both sides of the coin. Remember that? And they held their ground here in Zuccotti Park. It's gone now. Now it's just you got the Morgan Stanley, you got the I think it's Merrill Lynch building over there. Bear Stearns used to be down the block. Right? Wall Street won. Are they winning now? Of course. So there's three stories. I just I was just skimming. And I'll put this on a record. Stock market suffered the uh, worst month. October, worst month in seven years. Oh, you don't, you know, you don't hold any stocks. You don't care. All right. Well, it affects the bigger economy, right? Just listen. The S and P is down. The, the the biggest story is at the end. The S and P is down six point nine percent in October. Eighty but eighty percent of the companies reported earnings better than expected. <laughs> so that's. See, see, like earnings don't matter anymore. See, it's all manipulation. In the old days, if a company's, if 80% of the companies on the, on the stock market reported better than expected earnings, the markets would be roaring upward, going, everything would be more and more and more. But because the numbers are all rigged anymore and the regulations on Wall Street don't exist anymore, you know, and the old Republicans are talking about, oh, I'm going to deregulate, deregulate. <laughs> There are no regulations anymore. They, they, all the regulations got thrown in the garbage. Right? But nonetheless, Amazon is down 20%. Netflix down 19%. Right? Markets are taking a hit. However, and here's the big one. Deutsche Bank surges 5% on a buyback. No news. Buyback. Who bought it back? The bank down the corner, their cousins, J.P. Morgan. <laughs> the whole thing is a scam, right? Wall Street, it's a scam. It's a Ponzi scheme, right? All the bankers, these guys make so many, so much money being stolen in these buildings right here from you. Right? So the last story is this is this is fascinating, right? So. His, the guy's name is J. Lo Lo. <laughs> Real name. He's a Malaysian guy. And he's accused of laundering billions of dollars with two Goldman Sachs, ex Goldman Sachs employees. Right? Now this is, it's very rare that these stories even hit the mainstream media. 
But for some reason, the Post is reporting on this particular one, right? Because this is a throwaway, because, because they're, they're not even saying how many billions. Accused of laundering, quote, billions. <laughs> so J. Lo Lo was indicted in Brooklyn. But where is he? It's in fucking China. Oh, look at the sirens pass. New York's bravest. Zuccotti Park, right? So this first character, J. Lo Lo, right? Accused of laundering billions of dollars. Got indicted in Brooklyn. He's hiding in China. <laughs> right? He's hiding in China. Fugitive. And But they indicted him in Brooklyn and make a big story about him. You think that guy will ever get caught? Will ever step foot on new on on U.S. soil again? He's got a billion dollars in China, right? And so, who's the, the two Goldman Sachs accomplices? I'll wrap this up. I know it's 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 complicated and somewhat boring, but it's very important to know that the banks are ripping you off. His name is Roger Nu Nug N G. I don't know how you say it. Uh, he's another Malaysian guy. He apparently is arrested in Asia, uh, Malaysia, excuse me, and he's being held. It doesn't even say. He was just arrested. <laughs> you know how easy it is to buy your way out of a jail in Malaysia? They bet they took billions of dollars. Billions. And then there's Tim Lesnar, right? He's an American guy. And he just bought his way out of it. But 43, 43.7 million got him out of it. So you steal billions. That's hundreds. That's a, that's a thousand million. Thousands of millions. And you pay 43 million to get out. Good deal, right? I mean, you can't make this stuff up. These are the numbers. Deutsche Bank surging in a down market, right? Buybacks from their partner J.P. Morgan down the street. Stock market worst hit in 20. It none of it, none of it, none of it adds up, right? But the whole economy is stacked on top of this Ponzi scheme lie. I think he did that on purpose. He saw my report. <laughs> so hey, that's all I wanted to talk about. I'm down here in Zuccotti Park. The market still don't make sense. It's still a Ponzi scheme. A bunch of years ago, a couple of brave souls made an effort to, to tell everybody, tell the world. Ah, did it work? Not really. Bernie Sanders surge. Oh, they came back. They tried to do it again. What happened? Label socialists. They're fucking socialists. Socialists. <laughs> Shut them down again, right? Try to inform about how the banks are ripping you off. They call you a socialist, <laughs> right? Marxist. Nationalist. Communist. <laughs> they give you a fucking name, right? Right? Don't touch the banks. Don't talk about the banks. Don't talk about the banks. No, 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 no. Bank, he says, he says it's solid. Solid. My name is Marcus Conti reporting from Zuccotti Park, New York City. Peace out.